Now, the scooter rider who was caught on camera desperately trying to stop the Nice truck attack has spoken about what he did for the first time. The man known only as Franck was seen uh, chasing after Mohamed Bouhelel as he mowed down people who gathered to watch the fireworks display on the Promenade des Anglais in Nice on July the 14th. The rampage left 84 people dead. Uh, in his interview with uh, Nice Nassam newspaper, he said he was ready to give his life to stop the murderous rampage. J'ai mal un petit peu partout. I hurt just about everywhere, even emotionally. But it will be okay. It will pass in time, maybe, or maybe not. I wanted to see the fireworks display, but we were late. So I told my wife that we could go anyway, have an ice cream on the promenade. There were people coming back from the beach who were coming back from watching the firework display. My wife started gesturing to me, telling me that something was going on, that I was concentrating on riding the bike. And then at that moment I saw the truck passing me to my right, on the pavement. He must have been doing at least 90 kilometers an hour. It was very fast. I understood immediately that this was carnage. I could see people being thrown in all directions. People mown down by the truck. And the truck was zigzagging from the pavement to the road. I knew my son was at the end of the promenade de Anglaise, so I started chasing it, with my wife still pillion on my bike. I jumped onto the cab. The window was open, so I grabbed the steering wheel and tried to turn it to make him change direction, to make him stop. I started punching the driver with all my strength, his head, his body. I was just hitting him. I wanted to drag him out of the cab, but I can't get him out. I'm face to face with him. He had a gun. I had the impression he was trying to recharge it. It wasn't working. He tried to shoot me, but it didn't work. He had a cold look in his eyes. There was no emotion in them. At one point, he put the gun to my head. So I bent down, then got up again and started hitting him again. And I carried on. I didn't stop. I was ready to die. The gun started to work again. He shoots at me, but just misses. I can see the police arrive from the corner of my eye. I can see lights, and I slip under the wheel of the truck. A French motorbike rider known only as Frank. Meanwhile, the French President François Hollande has announced plans to send heavy weapons to Iraqi forces fighting against the so-called Islamic State group. And while in France, judges have charged five people in connection with the Nice attack, Hugh Schofield has more from Paris. The, the big news is that five suspects have now been charged in relation with the Nice attack. These are five people who knew Mohamed uh, Loaj Boulel. Two of them may have just been people in, who were involved in giving him uh, a, a weapon. The others, though, seem to have been much more closely involved in, 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 in the attack. They knew about the attack, it seems. And this creates the impression now of the first time that it wasn't just a single lone attacker who converted in the last couple of months, the last couple of weeks to, to, to a, a radical form of Islam. It seems that it was a much longer, older plot involving other people. Uh, you know, one of these characters who's been charged, for example, was there on the night after the attack filming it. Another of the suspects had sent um, the killer uh, a Facebook message before the attack saying, um, load up the lorry, release the brakes, I'll be there watching. President Hollande, uh, taking cognizance of all of this, has reacted with, with um, meeting, convening his security cabinet, and then um, addressing the nation again, um, urging the people to stay together um, uh, as, a, as a block against Islamist terror, saying there will be 10,000 uh, troops on the streets this summer and at holiday resorts and 15,000 reservists as well to, to protect the country. But also, and this is very significant, ratcheting up the French military response in the Middle East. He's ordered um, artillery for the first time out to the Middle East to help in Iraq against so-called Islamic State. Now, this is the first time if we leave, leave, leave aside special forces who are undoubtedly there, but about which we know nothing, this is the first time that ground forces are involved um, on the French side in, in the Middle East. Up till now, they've been bombing, of course, but there's nothing on the ground. This is an important uh, change. It may be just be a, a, a modest um, deployment, um, but they should be there in Iraq when, if this uh, long expected attack on Mosul against the stronghold, IS stronghold of Mosul takes place. 
Now, the Republican Party convention has come to a close with uh, 